protests are happening all across the country at Verizon stores from, from coast to coast. And the reason that we're targeting Verizon is that Ajit Pai, the FCC chair, is a former employee at Verizon. He's our former corporate counsel. And basically, our point of view is that having gotten on the FCC, he's basically doing what Verizon and the other ISPs want him to do, which is basically allow them to gatekeep the internet and profit off of prioritizing the traffic of those who have more money and resources than others. What would happen if there were no net neutrality? Well, I think as a consumer, you'd be left making decisions like, what kind of website do I use? Um, and, and, and do they have a deal with this or that ISP? And if I use that website a lot, then um, maybe I have to go with this or that ISP. Like, or maybe, maybe some ISPs have exclusive deals with certain websites. You know, if you want to go fast using YouTube, you have to use Verizon. Sorry, that's the way it is. You've got an exclusive deal with them. I, I, I you know, you, you could be in that kind of territory. Um, and, uh, you know, from the perspective of companies, maybe you'll have to pay um, ISPs more for your traffic to go at, at regular speeds. Uh, you might be throttled otherwise. I'm here because I'm a, they're going to more and more censor the net, the more control the, the huge telecommunication companies have, like Verizon, which is why we're standing in front of Verizon and Comcast and others, AT&T. Um, the more control they have, the more they control what information we get. What we're going to see fairly quickly is we're going to see random blocking and throttling of internet traffic. We're going to see startups and innovative services on the internet slow down and essentially not given the same sort of access as the incumbent players. We're going to see um, toll roads on the internet, opportunities to pay more so your traffic goes through faster and you're in a preferable position. Who can afford to pay that? Large corporations. Who can afford not to pay that? Small artists, small businesses, and not-for-profit organizations. So we're basically going to see a first-class internet for the rich and a second-class internet for the rest of us. Thank you.